Aha, fellow ship sinkers, my name is Master Rob, and I am here on Plunder Pirates today. We're in an eye patch, and I literally cannot do a pirate theme at all. Like a pirate accent, I cannot do one. I don't know why I suck at it. Uh, but I'm wearing my Plunder Pirates eye patch today, and it's actually really hard to play because I don't see 3D vision anymore. I just see out of one eye. So I'm going to take it off, but I think it looks pretty cool. If you didn't know, guys, I've actually got one of these to give away, as along with some pirate plunder, pun plunder pirates... Um, pants, which is quite interesting. Uh, make sure you check a video I, I did the other day on it. So, what has gone on since our first episode? A lot. I've learned a lot about this game, and I'm here to share my tips with you, and also try a brand new character that I haven't played as yet, and I'm really intrigued to play as. <clears throat> but first of all, if you're starting this game, what do you want to do? Number one is these. Upgrade these like nothing else. Your gold mines, your uh, grog distilleries, and also your storages. You need those. You need those so bad because you're going to have a lot of little loot. Um, a lot of little loot. A little of loot uh, when you start off. And attacking is super hard. So, upgrade your mines, upgrade your storages, and upgrade your tavern, which does mean building outhouses. Uh, so, the outhouses actually store the people. Uh, it's kind of like... Basically, the theory of it is is that if the tavern's too full and um, the the people you've got in the tavern, if they need to go to the toilet, if they need to go to the outhouse, uh, you need more toilets to fit more people. So instead of having houses where they go and live, you basically need toilets so there's no backlog of toilets, um, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, this is my base at the moment. Technically, it makes no sense whatsoever because the ship is um, in the in the center here and it is trapped and it cannot get out, but that does not affect it. The reason that it's been put in the center like that is because the ship actually defends your base when you're being attacked. It defends from both sides, so as you can see, it's protecting my pirate hall and also my storages, my two main things uh, that I love and I keep care of. It is defending. I also have some new uh, stuff building right now, so a bunker is building right here. Uh, I've got a mortar, I've got a cannon. We've got a uh, cannon, we've got some more cannons somewhere else, uh, we've got a gun tower, we've got a lot of stuff right now and it's really nicely put out and I think it's been uh, done very well. You also get a academy, now in the academy you can upgrade your troops and the upgrade system on this game is amazing, it's so so cool. And uh, you can see the troops I have here. So I have four troops. This is the new troop that I'm going to show you today that I haven't personally used yet. This is the Thief. Um, the Thief is like the Goblin on Clash of Clans. Um, it basically goes straight for the enemy resources to fill her pockets. Um, if you're after maximum plunder, she is an essential addition to your crew. So that's quite cool. But as I said, the upgrade system in this game is phenomenal. And it looks really cool. You go onto the skill section. And here you go. You get a really nice skill tree that is very easily worked out for you. You get each section. So every time you upgrade your academy, you get extra stuff. So you can see this is max level for academy 2. And when I unlock academy 3, I'll unlock a uh, plus 14 damage boost, plus 1 range boost, plus 5 damage. And you basically can work your way across. And I thought you'd have to choose one skill tree. But thankfully you don't. And um, they're just kind of separate things. So the top is more a generic, stronger, and um, and uh, better attacking. The bottom one has extra stuff like stay on target. Which is a special ability for rapid fire. You know, extra range. And also this one looks quite interesting. Which is the destroyer class. Uh, which you basically get exploration skill points. So that's quite cool. At the moment, we've got a level 7 Buccaneer, a level 9 Gunner, a level 5 Brute, and a level 3 Thief. And let's just collect all this. Boom, let's go. Also, if you have this game, guys, and you want to join my guild, I do have a guild at the moment. It is called Ship Sinkers. I think I'm the only person in it because I just made it. Uh, but feel free to come and join it and come battle with me, and we can work together and become the best guild out there. Luckily, you can get 50 members, which is plenty of hoe for a ship. Anyway... Let us go out and explore the seas. So, I've been exploring the seas a little bit, but I haven't found anything too interesting yet. I've got a range of 350, uh, which isn't too bad. So, let's go out and have a look. We're going to go... Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Let's go this way. So, down we go into the range of 270. And we're going to go to 270, which should take 2 minutes, uh, 12 seconds. Obviously, we'll skip it just for the purpose of the video. Journey complete. There is plenty of fresh plunder ready for collection. Nice. What have we found then? Okay, there is absolutely nothing. Why do you lie to me like that? So you lose some troops every time you go out to sea. They must die on the way. Uh, but yeah, you do lose some troops, which is quite upsetting. But hey-ho, it's not its not an issue. So that they're exploring now. We're going to skip forward that journey complete. And let's see. So we got some grog on the way, which is pretty cool. And what did we unlock? Oh, there's something there, which is a an island. 
We've got a bit of money, which is cool. And we're going to do one more. And this time we're going to go forward. And then we're going to go right. Uh, actually, no. Should we just unlock... Let's unlock one more big one. Uh, we are skipping this time, obviously. Because I don't want to wait in the video. Otherwise, it'd be a very boring video. So we're getting some nice... Ex oh, look at this. Look at these rewards. We've got a few uh, gems for some grog. And some gold. And what did we unlock? Okay, so we've unlocked a lighthouse. We've unlocked a, uh, a big fish. This is what they call extreme fishing. Landing this slippery fella isn't for the faint-hearted, but the rewards can be immense. And imagine how good it is going to look mounted on the captain's cabin. So I think you actually have to go and, like, destroy this thing. So if I went like that, do I actually attack it? I don't know. Let me go back and have a look. I'm not sure if I actually, if I can go and attack the ship. I think that's what I can do. But, yeah, let's just check our tavern is full. We're still fine in the tavern. Yeah, tavern is full. We're cool there. All right, let's go back out then and set sail. We're going to go and battle this fish. Or should we save that? Actually, we're not going to battle the fish for now. We're going to go and battle some real places. So I'm going to show you some attacking uh, on the game against some real player rival captains, which is going to be good fun. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this is a lot of plunder. So I don't even mind if I lose this one. As long as I get the plunder, I'd be happy. Uh, and it looks like all this plunder is nicely situated on the outside. So we're not going to go to win this one. We are going to go just to try and uh, take his plunder. So I'm going to spawn out all my troops along the side here. I'm putting them out first because they're obviously the brutes. There's, they're what going to help us out the most. And we're going to hopefully get as much of this grog as possible. Now I actually have a special ability on both my troops. I have a rage for the buccaneers. And I have this rapid fire shooting uh, for the gunners. Which as you can see rages him up and just makes him shoot a little bit faster. And we have taken a lot of that grog. I am very, very happy with that. I know we're not going to win this battle, but that does not matter because the loot that this guy is holding is well worth it. Very well worth it. We're nearly full on grog right now. 182,000 and we're going to get nearly up to 200,000 worth of gold. You can see them here working on this. Going ham on that gold storage right there. That is insane. Go on, guys. You can do it. So we can actually turn it around, which is really cool. So we can see how many troops we have here uh, battling away. We've got one here, uh, which I'm going to put into rapid fire now. And we can see where these guys are going. It's a shame that these guys have gone up here. It's not a big issue, but I'd have preferred them to kind of stuck together. These are nearly ready to rage up as well, if they don't die, that is. Uh, but it looks like they're going to die before I get to rage them up. Oh, they've both gone. We've got this guy. Is he going to rage? Rage? Ah, oh, there we go. We got defeated. But in my eyes, that was a definite win. Look at the loot that we acquired from that. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so we're going to use the brand new uh, character that we just unlocked <clears throat> and just leveled up, which is the Thief. So the Thief holds uh, just one tavern slot. So we can have 35 Thief. Um, what? I don't know what that was. Uh, so right, we're going to have that. We're also going to have one Brute just to sit in front and we will... Uh, See if we'll send that guy out first, and then we'll send the rest out. Boom, there we go. So our tavern is full. Let's go see what these thieves can do. This is going to be really interesting, because uh, I haven't used them before. But again, we need to find some good... Actually, no, we don't. We want to use our loot first, because we have a lot of it. So what can we buy? Uh, we can buy some defenses. I know for that, we can buy some walls. So let's carry on our walls around the base. And we are going to build this way, please. Thank you very much. Spin that around. It's really cool being able to spin it around. It's definitely helpful. Uh, we want to take this down, actually, to be honest. Because that is kind of in the way right there. Thank you very much. Let's go back and continue building <laughs> continue building our walls. We're going to need quite a lot, to be honest, to fill this base. But we've got uh, 50 walls at the moment, which is not bad, but it's not exactly, it's not exactly loads. There we go. It's making it a little bit safer, I guess. Boom, there we go. That is all the walls we can have. So there we go. We've kind of got probably about half our base done. Uh, we've also created, we finished a quest, which is cool. Let's have a look at what buildings we can up, we can buy. Oh, wow. These are a little bit more expensive, but we can uh, we can buy the voodoo hut soon and the stonemason, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, but there's nothing else we can buy, so we're going to have to upgrade something. What shall we upgrade? So we've got a lot of uh, grog, so we probably should upgrade a gold... Uh, storage if we can so that's level six this is level five let's upgrade that using our grog and let's go back out to seas after we've seen our rewards yes we've got a reward we get a reward yeah and yeah lovely let's go plunder fight a rival captain 
We're going to use our thieves on again. So again, this is really nice loot. Uh, this is a little bit of a harder base by the looks of it. Uh, the defenses are a little bit more equipped, but it looks like his loot is going to be all there. And it's not exactly protected. So we're going to go for it and see what's what. Uh, this might go completely to pot, guys. If it does, then that's fine. <laughs> but we're going to give it a go. So we're spawning out a load of our girls right now. A load of our little uh, thieves are going in. Look at them going ham. Taking that loot. Look at the loot go down. The gold is just running out for this guy. I'm actually going to spawn one there uh, to take that out as well. Actually, should we, we, should we spawn a couple? Spawn that there and spawn her there. I don't know if she's going to be in range. Oh, sweet. We can take that down. So we've got lots of his gold, which is absolutely critical. We've taken lots of his grog as well, which is very, very nice. Oh my god, these girls are so, so fast. They work so well. Go, go, girls. Look at them running past everything like there's nothing even there. So you can see, actually, I think they, they yeah, they carry around bags. And uh, that's pretty cool. They actually carry the bags around with them. But as you can see, they work their way through straight to the um, resources. And we are going to uh, rinse this car. <laughs> We're literally going to rinse this guy dry of his resources. I'm so sorry. Um, me cat, me cat, me cat, I don't know. But we've taken it down. We have lost it. We have lost the raid. But to be honest, again, I wasn't focused on winning the raid. At the moment, I'm not pushing for, um, for points. I'm just going for that loot. And we definitely got the loot there. So there we go, guys. There is some more Plunder Pirates gameplay. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. And comment saying you want to see more. This game comes out officially on September the 18th on iOS. Not 100% sure on Android, but I'll check that out for you. Uh, so if you're interested in it, make sure you download it then. But until the next episode, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.